Hey guys, we're back with another video. Today we're <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, Ryan. Today we're playing Ari again. Um, whole team is squishy apart from Nunu, but Nunu's got phase rush, so he's not going to be as tanky as like an aftershock Nunu. So, what is this? A support-ish champ mid lane? I think that is just the easiest Imperial Mandate Ari of my life. So I could go Ludens here. They're all really squishy as well. And uh, Ludens works well with that. Is gonna deal damage? Yes, yes he is. He's an AD carry. Seraphine mid. I feel like this is just a boring matchup. All I have to watch out for is Nunu ganking me. That's why I took Ari this game. I want to play Zoe more. You like it when I say squishy, why? <laughs> I don't say it weirdly. Or uniquely. Minions has Ryan look intensifies. Yeah, I wanted charm so if Nunu ganked mid lane, I just charm him out of snowball and it's easy. If I E him on Zoe, it doesn't interrupt him because it takes a while for the actual sleep to go off. It starts as drowsy, so I would just be Hit by the snowball if I played Zoe. But I definitely do want to play her more. Oh, okay, she started E. Did I hit her there? Me getting a lot of early poke on her like this is great. I just want to be pushing to be fair. Playing versus Seraphine early feels like playing versus Nico. Her Q and then the E are quite similar. Quite similar in playstyle. You hit the E. I should have ignited probably. I thought she'd have like barrier instead of heal. You don't generally take heal on mid laners. Unless you're gonna be uh, playing around the 2v2 a lot. They're mine now. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is why I love having Ari versus Nunu. That's fine. Hmm, I think I just want to push a lot. Ooh. Oh wait, oh, I'm dead. Hi, Pantheon's there too. Got Nunu. Don't expect that damage. What, from Pantheon or? From Seraphine. Hmm. He's got a blue. She's staying? Okay, that's really good for me, I feel like. She could have easily based on this cannon wave. Can heal up here at least if she stays i can definitely kill her oh my god oh thank god i got that i messed up with my q and i autoed instead of moving for the q return Uh, 
I do that quite a few uh, few times, especially on when I'm playing Aurelian Soul. I can get a blasting on here. Oh, enjoy the emos, Feru. Hi, Nomi. I'm, I'm gonna rush uh, Rylo's. Should lose now. I've got ulti. I've got ignite coming up soon. I've got six 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 mana. <laughs> Thank you guys. Are you doing imperial build? Yeah, I am. Why is Nico not popular? She's not a good champ. Um, that her early game harass is insanely good, but then her ulti is just really bad. The ulti's really strong if you can hit it, and it's not like one of those high skill cap ultimates. Ultimates? <laughs> it's not one of those high skill cap ults where you're just like, oh, if you're a god player, you'll just get it off, it's fine. It's more like everyone can easily dodge it rather than you being super good to land it. There we go, nice. There's a Nunu coming up that way. Oh, he's gone back down bot lane. I'm uh, worried about this Pantheon though. He probably has ulti. Yep. I forced this ult. Oh wait, no, sorry, that was, that was a miss ping. I meant to ping the R. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know why she was so aggressive here for. I haven't got anything to get to her though. I don't think I can kill her for now. Oh, if I hit that, oh. I still don't have, um, don't have Q mana anyway. Dunu's up there. I'm so sad. <laughs> hey doing Zirconium, hey Matty. Hey Izo. I want the play. <laughs> you wanted the assist, yep. Nunu can't catch me because I've got charm and flash. You're really becoming a fan of presence of mind. It feels really good in Aurelian Soul. Nunu's probably like here. Oh my god, I've got exact Rylai gold. Okay, who needs boots? We just want to use our lead as much as possible. I want to be able to ult on Seraphine and then kill her. A little bit unlucky. You guys are going to be trying to 2v4 there. Wait, Jin flash from that? Okay. I wouldn't have chosen that. Oh my god, when you one shot the back line of minions on Ari at level 8, you know you're extremely fed. That is very, very rare. I've got 171 AP at 9 minutes. Oh my god, this is giving me 40 AP and then this is giving me 90. I, I still one shot, wow. 
Now I'm level 9 with uh, Q. Oh shit. There we go. I want to be able to... See Seraphine and insta-kill her. Now the biggest problem with this build right now, justice for Skarna. <laughs> oh that's true, we have Skarna on our team. Huh. Yeah, the biggest thing that I'm worried with now. Oh I I didn't realise you're fighting him. My bad. Is I need a lot of gold to get to mandate and then its build path is really bad. That's fine. I, I don't mind Pantheon ulting and then wasting it. You got a cat penta yesterday and you beat Katarina in lane. Okay, out of the two, I would definitely root for the Katarina there. Even though I hate both of them. <laughs> yeah, this is like Glacial Ari though. Obviously, the Glacial slows are not as strong, but you do get a small slow where you can easily hit your charm. I like that so much. Hey Nilari, you doing Alessano? I need to take my lead out of mid lane and not kill Seraphine anymore. Because Seraphine's job, no matter what happens to her, she's going to do the same thing. She's still going to be supportive, she's still going to root people, she's still going to like give the movement speed and shields. She's still going to ult. So I really need to use my advantage. Oh, let's go. Oh, the Jin's got a 500 gold bounty. Yo, let's go. Why would she flash now? Okay, yeah, give me that. The more gold I get right now, the better. Ooh, we can get plates. That's, oh my god, that's perfect. That's literally perfect. Apart from not being able to get plate here. If I can get one, that'd be great. I know that Jin's coming back to lane now. Oh, two? Oh my god, yes, that's perfect. Oh, I've got mandate gold on my base. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay, nice. Oh, I got the the shield off of her. That is perfect for us. You know what? No. Where's the nut button? Nut, nut. Right, we're not getting Horizon Focus. I just wanted to see how much it cost. Okay, so now it's mandate time. And I am fed out my butt. Nut. And we've got Rylai's mandate at 14 minutes. Ooh, let's go. So I want to get into a scenario where I can ult and it would hit Seraphine Jin and Morgana. So I can apply mandate to everyone. Oh, you just barely died. I 
Okay, he flashed. Hey. I'm good, Snowy. How are you? Hi, Nia. How are you? Not. Are you nuts? <laughs> good timing. Not really what I wanted there, but we got the gin flash. Oh yeah, I did ping. No, okay. Game top ping that. One thing to go this game, or one thing that synergizes really, really well with Mandate is Zonya's, because with Mandate, how it works is the first part of the damage has no cooldown. So you see here, abilities that slow or mobilize deal bonus damage. That part has no cooldown. Unless an ally procs it, and then that procs the second part of the damage. And then it puts that first part on cooldown. But if you're 1v9 diving in first... Okay, she's like, oh, come come dive on me please, Ari. I would if I wasn't trying to carry. Ooh, that is a no bot lane tower. This is what we want. We want to spread mandate. There we go. Didn't even use charm. I don't need to. I help. <laughs> Me help. Is that what Jin builds? With the collector? I don't think it is, right? Damn it. Oh, it is. I can buy Zonya's almost straight out, right? I can, yeah. Well, Zonya's is a lot less slot efficient because you're buying a cheap item. It's really really good now like they buffed it massively by making it cost 500 gold less and then they reducing five ap off of it i don't really care to remove 500 gold like i'm all for that the only reason you buy zonyas anyway is for the active so if you can get the active a lot earlier perfect the Jin and morgana are still bot lane with no towers here it's so risky for them to be out this far They might walk up to mid lane and see the MF. There we go. Mandate is not 800 damage so far. Go, go. Nice. Also, Seraphina, don't like her as a mid, really. I think she's better on AP bot. Well, I've got three items. Granted, two of my items are cheap. There you go, I led behind her because she'll turn around once she sees MF. Damn, even though we're 10 and 1, the kills are actually close. The Pantheon was fed. Wow. Oh, what is this damage? It's crazy. honestly crazy sorry the most beginner assassin easy to pick up hard to master um 
It's not like Arya's hard to master or anything. She has a really low skill floor, so she's easy to pick up here, like you said. Oh, they surrendered. Oh! I only did 2,400 damage because the game ended so fast. Oh my god, that was such a good Ari game. I'm sad it didn't last longer. I wanted to show the true potential of Mandate. Top gap. <laughs> I don't even know what happened top lane. Oh yeah, Pantheon was getting fed, right? Hey Tencho girl, we saved the, uh, the Skana from the Seraphine. You don't want to be made into another hoverboard. I think that's what the lore is, right? Something like that. Uh, 11 1 and 880 CS at 20 minutes and... 19,000 damage Seraphine only doing 4.4. I feel like you have to play Seraphine the same way you play Nico, where you just perma harass early on. But she did it level 1 and then just stopped doing it. This thing. Not surprising they surrendered. I mean, yeah, the kills were quite even across the board though, but I guess they had most of the kills on Nunu. Like, they had two fed carries, but I just had more items than both of them. Yeah, Pantheon had two items, but he just kept failing ults mid lane. I feel like if he ulted bot lane, it'd be a lot better for him, even though, like, sure, it's a lot easier for him to ult mid just because he's a top laner, but I have ulti and I also have charm, so I can know exactly where he appears, so. But yeah, Mandate build is still incredibly strong. There hasn't been any changes to it, and I like it a lot. I don't think it's buildable every single game though. If there's like a multiple mages or, or multiple champions like this that are all immobile on the back line on mid bot and support, I feel like it's good to just spread AoE. But other than that, if there's more tankier champs, I, I don't think I would go it. 